Welcome to Vinex Studio. Let's start making games. Hi and welcome to another tutorial in Unity. Today we are going to see about Unity Lub function. Lub is nothing but linear interpolation in Unity. In mathematical linear interpolation, you basically find points in between two points depending on your interpolation value. Similar to that, Unity interpolation, you can find any point between two positions depending on your interpolation value. Unity Lub takes three inputs. The first one is the start value, second is the end value and the third is the interpolation value which should be between 0 and 1. And depending on your value of interpolation, the output will be somewhere between start and end position. To demonstrate Unity Lub, I have a plane and a cube in my scene. And we are going to lerp the cube using a script. Now, Unity lerp can be used for vector 2, vector 3, math of material, and color, and also for content. Even you can basically use math of dot lerp to change any value in Unity. We have our cube, so let's add a script to that and let's call it lerp demo. Let's open it in Visual Studio Code. First, let's declare a vector 3 and let's call it start position. Let's have another vector 3, which will be our end position. Let's initialize the start position to the transform position of the cube. So now we have a start position. And let's give some value to the end position. So we'll give new vector 3 in brackets. Let's say 10, 5, 0, comma 10. So we have an end position, we have a start position. Now in the start method, if we use lerp, we can just say transform dot position equals vector 3 dot lerp and the first input will be your start position and then it will be your end position then you can give any value between 0 and 1 so let's let's find the midpoint between 0 0 0 and 10 0 10 so let's give 0 0.5 f so when the game starts this will return the midpoint between my start position and the end position and the and we are, and we'll set that value to transform dot position so my, so my cube should move to 505 so let's go back to unity and play the game the cube position is 000 and when the game starts cube has moved to 505 depending on the lerp's uh, interpolation value it will return the position so if you want to move an object from one point to another slowly using lerp, then you have to increment the interpolation value depending on your requirement. So let's move the statement to the update function. This x update. So now it's an update, and we need to change the interpolation value to every update. So let's use the time function. So it will be time dot time so this will return the time from beginning of the game and let's divide it by five seconds so that it moves from start position to end positions in five seconds so you can change the value depending on your requirement so let's save the game and test it out let's go to unity okay So as you can see, the cube has gone to 10, 0, 0 in 5 seconds. So this is how vector 3 lerp works. Let's test it on rotation also. So rotation, you have to use quantum neon. Let's change the data types to quantum neon. So this will be quantum neon. And this will be quantum neon. Now we'll set the start position your transform dot rotation and the end position 
to what neon dot euler then let's give the angle of 90 0 90 colon now we have to say transform dot rotation rotation is equal to point neon dot ruler Now our cube will rotate from initial position to 90, 0, 90 in 5 seconds. So let's go back to Unity. Let's add in post again. So let's start the game. So as you can see, the object is rotating now. It has gone from 0, 0, 0 to 90, 0, 90. So now we have seen vector 3 lerp and quaternion lerp. Next, let's see how color dot lerp works. To use color, you have to get the render component, render component of the cube. So let's say render REN. And in the start function, let's get REN equal to get component renderer okay and now this will become of type color again color so this will be your rn dot color material dot color uh, the cube is black in color so let's go ahead and change it to white so let's say color dot white and here in the update function we have to set the renderers material dot color equal to color dot look start position end position in five seconds so now let's go back to unity let's play the game so this black cube will change into white cube in five seconds so that's it next we'll see how mathf.lub works so you can use mathf.lub to change any value in unity as long as it's a float so we don't need the renderer for mathf and this this will be float start position equals zero f and then again float end position equal to 10 f now since we already have the values we don't need these so we don't require the start also in the update let's just debug dot log and inside it will be mathf dot log so now it should print the value from 0 to 10 in 5 seconds slowly incrementing it let's go back to unity and play the let's open the console window so you can see the output Let's play the game. So now the value is slowly incrementing and it will reach 10 in 5 seconds. The reason it's not stopping, we have not disabled the lerp in update, so it will go on printing 10. So this was the basics of Unity lerp. You can read a Unity lerp blog post for more details and code snippets. I'll leave the link in the description. See you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like subscribe and share.